was a kid, I just loved to look at the stars, you know, just wondering what can be behind that. So I think we should, uh, people should like look at this space too. Just, uh, just think of uh, like, as you like uh, being in space, looking down on Earth. You think like people argue with like, and having problem with each other, just like kind of stupid. Maybe, maybe in one sense, space travel offers a chance for the first real global community, and somehow they learn to communicate and get along with each other. There's, there's only a, a certain number, a finite number of people that can coexist on the Earth, so that at some point we're going to outgrow our planet, and it would be nice to have an alternative. In Australia, they have a term for it for people like us who actually believe in, in space and really want to see it develop. We're called space tragics. The people that were born since the last moon landing um, are growing up believing, you know, hearing a myth that, that, that people went to the moon. We're at great risk of in the future having nobody alive who's been to the moon. You know, there's a great danger of it becoming you know, not only something of, of, the, of the past, but also possibly something that they barely believe even happened. And I've heard it said that the, the boom or the, the, the number of scientists and engineers that followed the Apollo missions was due directly to the fact that we went to the moon. People talk about, uh, isn't it wasteful to spend all this money in space? No, it's not. Uh, and I'm not talking about the spin-offs. I think that's a bogus argument. It, it's not worth spending a hundred billion dollars to, to invent Tang. One should not underestimate the importance of powdered drinks to the American public. That's not the point. What's really the point is that not a single nickel is spent in space. Every single dollar is spent here on Earth. That is a good thing for our economy.